It's another Valkyrie. Can we try to free her? Mm. We can't just leave her like this, brother. Do not rush me, Ed. When we are prepared, I will attack. Ready yourself, boy! Freedom. Where is your queen? My queen? She did this to you. She's letting the dead take over Midgar. This cannot be. I didn't want to believe it either, milady. But we have to find her. Where is she? I can't say for sure. But the rock stole of Alkirs. If the Council of Eight are reunited, perhaps she will answer our call. Looks like we have more Valkyries to hunt. Aye, lad. But at least we know where to find Sigrun. But where do we find the remaining Valkyries? Other realms. Good thinking, brother. Muspelheim, Niflheim. Sigrun would have no qualm with interning her Valkyries outside of Midgard.
father was Frigg. Aye, Frigg. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. It means beloved. Something Odin called Freya after they wed. Out of affection at first, or so I like to believe. As things turned sour, it became a way to manipulate the truth. How so? Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Frigg. Like being Baldur's mother. That's right. Freya was Baldur's mother all along. Niflheim. Not sure why anyone would want to come here, but here we are. What is this stuff? This mist is cursed. Cursed? Quite right. Safe to breathe for a time, but it'll kill if we linger. Just one more reason to love Niflheim. Boy. Yes, sir. Let's see. What is that stuff? Weird. Yes. A strange material. Ah! Fancy seeing you two here! I'm surprised you're here, Sindri. This mist is pretty gross. You think I can't handle a little cursed mist? Well, you're right. I'm trying to build some armor that will lessen its effects. The materials I need are all right here in Ivaldi's workshop, but... they're blanketed by this nauseating mist, of course. Wait for it. The last known location for such armor is in the workshop's center chamber. The entrance is sealed, but I could craft you an entry stone with enough mist echoes. There it is. I wouldn't recommend staying in the mist for too long. That stench will stick to your hair, your weapons, your armor. And I will not touch your gear until you burn all the tiny beasties off in the fires of Muspelheim. Also, it will kill you. You shouldn't have much trouble finding mist echoes inside the workshop. Staying alive. There's something written here. This whole place shuffles around each time we leave? That's incredible! Atreus, focus. This is a dangerous place. That's dwarven creativity for you. Impressive and dangerous.
Ooh, looks like you found enough echoes. And you're not dead. Very impressive. Sindri, how do you make anything out of mist? Odd as it sounds, the dwarves who lived here could craft marvels out of the mists of Niflheim. Keep an eye out for more mist echoes. I could put them to all sorts of use. I wish mom were here. What else was there? I can do whatever you need. Well, that's something. Why? Well, um, if you don't need it, don't buy it. <laughs> I always say not. Let's get to it.
Was there more? Let me think. It is too small and too old. We will bring it back to the dwarf.
Is that what I think it is? Useless armor? Useless? Oh, ye of little faith, this armor was worn by Ivaldi himself. Sure, it's seen better days, but I can restore it with more mist echoes. And it'll help with the effects of Ivaldi's curse. Unless there is something of value in this workshop, there is little point in staying here. You saw all the chests in the center chamber, yes? Plus all the goodies tucked away towards the back of the workshop? And the three round tears, of course! But... Might want to be careful with those. Why's that? It's a literal tear in the fabric of reality itself. You want to reach your hand through there? Be my guest. What speaks to you? Well, when you do need something, I'll be around. Seriously, be careful with those realm tears. I can do whatever you need. I think that's a keeper.
Now don't be a stranger. Valkyrie. Here in Niflheim? Of Ola.
into a mist free area. Freedom. Yes. You are free now. My sisters, have they suffered the same fate? Yes. But we'll save them. You are both very brave. I wish you luck. Valhalla awaits. Both? She didn't even notice me. Our last one. Aye, lad. Onto the rope stole our Valkyrs then. If you remember, it's next to the two oarsmen statues on the path we took to Thamur's chisel. This queen of yours, she is strong, yes. Stronger than these other Valkyries we have faced. That's putting it mildly, brother. Then we must prepare ourselves. Gondul. Beautiful Gondul. And? Huh? That's it? Beautiful Gondul? No story or anything? Uh, oh, sorry, lad. The sight of Gondul always took my breath away. Gondul had a silver tongue, a sharp wit, and struck a figure so stunning it literally drove men insane. Odin forbid her from setting foot in Midgard after a time, as insanity is not a welcome trait in Valhalla. This is none other than Gerdrifol, the master of arms in Valhalla, responsible for arming and training Odin's Inheriar. His army come Ragnarok, the entire reason Valhalla exists, you see. The Inheriar wait in the Great Hall endlessly, feasting, drinking and fa- ah, uh, fornicating themselves silly. Once Ragnarok begins, Odin calls them into service to fight on his behalf. Gerdrifol had her hands full training that lot. This is Rota, a chooser of the slain. Not exactly, lad. Although that is what they're most famous for, and by far their greatest responsibility. You've seen what happens to the dead without the judgement of the Valkyries. Hellwalkers. That's right. Rota, Gunnar, Skuld. Without them to clean up the aftermath of battle, 
hell overflows with souls meant for Valhalla. A sorry state of affairs. Rotor must be beside herself. Ah, and here we have Air, the healer. Air was strange, as a matter of fact. Very quiet, very calm. Where her sisters were violent rapids, Air was a gentle stream. She healed the wounds of both mortals and gods, and even a certain all-knowing sage who once drank too much and fell off a mountain. Ugh, not my proudest moment. Well, well. Hildar, mistress of battle. She and Odin got on quite well, actually. Her and the other Valkyries, not so much. She would spend most of her time here in Midgard observing discord between the living and sewing some up herself from time to time. She lived for conflict. Some say she was conflict personified. I wonder what will become of her now that she's free. Old Rune, once the daughter of a powerful chieftain. She fell defending him during a reaver attack. Old Rune was escorted to Valhalla, where she chose to devote her afterlife to the pursuit of knowledge above all else. Quite unusual behaviour amongst the constant drinking and feasting of her fellow Valhallian denizens. Odin, he saw a kindred spirit in Old Rune's single-minded pursuit of knowledge, he appointed her as a Valkyrie's resident historian. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you, friends. You have saved the Valkyries. Sigrun, how did this happen? Mimir, is that you? You have been freed, but... Freedom comes at a price, milady. You speak truly. Countless winters we serve the Allfather. But only through his union to the Queen did we ever taste some measure of freedom. But aren't you the Queen? There has only been one Queen of the Valkyries, the Goddess Freya. When Odin severed her wings, I served in her absence, but it wasn't enough for the Allfather. He used an archaic piece of magic, corrupting my sisters. I tried to contain the damage by imprisoning them in places where they could cause no harm, but soon I lost myself as well. Sigrun, I'm sorry for being so worthless. I could have done something, or tried at the very least. What will you do now? I must reunite with my sisters. Together we can restore balance to the realms. You have the eternal blessings of the Valkyries. We did it, I suppose. You don't sound very happy about it. It's difficult to be happy about anything when you're a reanimated head. I'm grateful we were able to set the Valkyries free. But so much of this could have been avoided, if only... You said it yourself, Head. It does not matter anymore. The past is the past. Well, that's awfully cheerful coming from you. I am in a good mood. The dwarves will make use of this helm. Your dad's a wee bit single-minded, isn't he, lad? Definitely. Is the Valkyrie Queen? She never told us. You never told us. Explain yourself, Head. Or are you bewitched again? Not at all. Freya was Queen of the Valkyries at one point. Part of her marriage dowry included overseeing the Valkyries themselves. As a powerful Vanir goddess, they revered her. I never knew how much until now. 